Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C, it's the 19th of November 2020 and we've had three new features added to the Hornet. One, the ability to designate a target via the HUD while using a mode other than auto. Two, we now have air to ground functionality in the JHMCS, the helmet mounted display and Finally, we've got a new stall slash angle of attack warning that we'll have a look at. So, before we do that, let's just refresh ourselves of the controls we're going to be using to designate a target. That, to undesignate a target. That, to slew a target up, down, left, and right. Or to assign our TDC to the HUD or the helmet mounted display, otherwise known as making them soy, sensor of interest, sensor control switch forward. First, let's prove that we can designate a target via the HUD without using auto mode. So, master arm on, air to ground mode, select the bomb. Set the mode to CCIP if it's not already, put your normal fuses on. We can see in the HUD now that we are CCIP, there is our bomb pull line and so on. Let's make the HUD soy with SCS forward. We know it's soy because it's now got a dot in the middle of the velocity vector. What we can do now is press TDC depress and along the bomb pull line will appear our target diamond. We now have a target and we know it's a target because we've got 1.8 nautical miles to target. Note that the diamond is made up of dotted lines rather than a solid line. This means that the target is slewable with the TDC controls. If it were a solid line then it would not be slewable and because it's slewable we can use up, down, left and right and put it into a target. Well, it just so happens we've got a target with 50 cows in there. Our target is now 2.8 miles and in the middle of those cows. And that's all we need to do to go and drop the bomb. Note that as soon as we created that target, it realized what we wanted to do and it's automatically changed it from CCIP to auto mode. And we've got the time to release there. So we can unpause now and go and drop our bomb with auto mode like normal. Bombs away. Please don't tell Greta. Why don't we freeze ourselves in an awkward position like that? Let's turn on the helmet mounted display, let it warm up. And note, the target is round behind us somewhere there. If we're looking off to the right here, we can see that we've got a flashing target diamond. This means that it is off the visual limits of the helmet to the right. And we also know that it is 66 degrees from where we're looking here in that direction. So let's move around. When it is in the vision limits of the helmet, it's no longer flashing. It's now solid. And we can see the target there at 0 0.9 miles. Again, because it's not a solid diamond, we can slew it. It may At this angle, it may be a little odd to slew. It's not actually that bad. We can slew it. And we're actually slewing it along the ground there. And if we wanted to blow up something like that, I know it's a bit weird doing this backwards, but we could. That there is now an official target. And we can go and drop another bomb on there. Now, let's say we lost that target. So let's undesignate on purpose. Well, if that happens, then we get this reticle up. With this reticle, we can redesignate a new target, essentially anywhere we want. So, I don't like the look of that guy there. It needs, definitely needs blowing up. TDC depress, ping, a new target created at 0 0.6 miles. Note, again, it's slewable, so we can slew it about in the helmet there. So, I'm sure you'd agree that is some pretty excellent functionality with the JH MCS we have now. And finally, we'll unpause and show you the, uh, the new warning. This will probably not end well. But that bit is normal. That bit is new. And I guess I deserve this for neutralizing all of those cows. I hope that was useful and see you later.